Well, hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. Well, there's my little Rhode Island red hen and Sue. The three teenagers are in there on the roost. I don't know why we're an hour before dark, but they'll get back down when they want to. There's the black female turkey and junior. And then my other Rhode Island red and the brown female turkey. I picked the peaches off the tree over there that had broken because every one of them had wormholes in them. And uh, I threw a couple into each section and let them eat them. They've already eaten one of theirs completely. It's gone. But there's the other one. I threw a whole bunch of scratch out. Way more like a week's worth. Because it had a lot of bugs in it and I was tired of dealing with them so... I, I dumped the barrel out, gave them all that was left in all three runs, and uh, cleaned the barrel out to get rid of the bugs. I have not opened the other two bags that I've got. I'm sure it'll get full of bugs before I use all of it as well. But, as y'all can see, all the baby turkeys and the baby chicks are doing well. There's four Rhode Island Reds out there in the scratch. I'm guessing the other three are inside the pen. They're attacking that feeder. It won't be long before I take the larger of all these, go in there at night when they're roosting, grab the largest ones and put them in with the middle pen here and take some off of this first pen because they're just, they're going through that feeder. I filled it up yesterday and I cut another piece of wire to go on the top of it so they couldn't get down in the feeder. And they're not knocking that one off because it fits snug. And uh, they're, they're emptying that feeder in a day and a half. So pretty much I fill it up every day. All three turkeys are out and about. But they haven't touched the two peaches I threw over here. Don't know whether it's because they don't know or what, but they haven't touched theirs. And as you can see, all the grass is cut. I actually cut around the house and Sparky's area and back here. All this. Two days ago, Friday evening after work, it is Sunday evening for those of you that want to know. So I've still got a weed eat, but I, I cut the important area after work. And then I finished the field in the back field back there. All of that this evening. It didn't take me but about an hour. Maybe an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. But it's all cut. I've still got the weed eat around the house. I have to do that two or three times a year. I hate weed eating. And I still have not weeded the grandkids' play area. I've got to get these boards up. I'm thinking of tearing down this rack that I built to hold extra lumber and stuff. And uh, rebuilding it. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> lot to do. But I need to take the backhoe attachment off the tractor and put the uh, box blade on it. But I really don't know where to put that backhoe attachment when I take it off. I don't want to leave it in the yard again like I did the last time. I just don't know yet, but I'm working on it. It takes a while to get all this grass cut. See, I still need to, I got pine trees growing right there. I need to pull those up and weed it around there. I did move the antenna pole last time where it had grown up pretty thick around them. And I still need to go into the woods and raise the deck and keep that stuff knocked down to a manageable level. But, it's alright. So, typically if it's just Sweet Pea eating out of her, you know, 15, 20 pound bag of feed, it lasts her about two months. 
but here for the last two or three weeks at least, maybe a little longer, some of those feral stray cats from the neighbors down at that end of the road, the only neighbor I have on that end, they've got cats running out their ears up there. They, you know, they just breeding, making more, breeding, making more, and they feed them and they go through their dumpster and tear it apart like you would expect dogs. So I got my wild trapping set up here because they've been coming up at night eating all of her food. And I need to look at it, I guess. It didn't go off. They got in there and ate all the food off the paper plate twice and, and, and it didn't set the trap off. So I'm gonna catch them. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dispose of them. I'm going to take them off and let them fend for themselves elsewhere. Sweet Pea's been fixed. She can't have kittens, so I don't worry about that. It's just the fact that I'm not going to feed 25 more stray cats. Won't none of them let you get close to them, so. Anyway, the weather has not been conducive to burning the wood, the leftover scrap wood and stuff back there. But when it is, I'll get that stuff burned and get that barrel moved. And, uh, I've got to do something about my under this shelter. This stuff over here is just piling up, piling up. I've got to get it finished. So there's a lot to do. I'm just, when you work in the heat, 50 hours or whatever, it's just too much on me to get it all done by myself this time of year. I love springtime and fall where it's not too freaking freezes to death cold and it's not so hot that you you know can't get anything done unfortunately in south georgia as far south as i am we don't get a lot of that time of the year but i get a lot more projects done because i can get outside and work but it's not one of them things i can get done right now it's just too doggone hot and I think I'm going to plant this rose bush when uh, summer's about over with. I'm going to plant it somewhere and let it grow because this thing seems to have bloomed all summer. When the blooms fall off, it has more come on. So I've been trying to keep it watered. And you see, I need to weed eat here. The privet will take over. That's what that is. That's privy. And that's privy. See the little balls on the plant? I'm guessing that's its seed. I don't know. But when I bought this property from this little mini red barn all the way back to the wood line there, all of this was privet. A few trees, most of it was privet. Just overgrown, 10 feet high. All where the chicken pens and stuff are. Everything there, all that was privet. I cleared it to the property line over there. And... I've never cleared to the property line on that side and the privet is coming out. So I want to get the box blade put on the tractor and uh, hopefully it's a uh, hose on the backhoe attachment that's busted so I can have it fixed while it's off and not the hose for the tractor. But um, that way I can take the bucket and start knocking some of that stuff down and i don't know i might have to get me a bush hog i don't know some of them trees are too big so i have to get a chainsaw out there and cut a bunch of the small stuff down but i want to get that property line cleared eventually it's just a lot to do but i was going to go by to work this weekend in my truck and Somebody gave me a gas dryer, and that was one of my goals, is one day change my electric dryer out to a gas like I did the stove so that it would run off 110 volt instead of 240 and take a lot less power so it's easier on my off-grid system. But I've got to get it loaded on my truck, not my work truck. There's no room on there. But get it loaded on my personal truck and get it home and get it put in one of these buildings. 
and uh, at least keep it taken care of until I'm ready to get the gas line ran and get it hooked up. But I just want to do a video and show y'all. I did not cut inside the chicken run this time. I probably will one day this week. I'll lock them up. And when I get home from work, if I get home in time, go in there with the mower and cut it down and then let them come back out. The last couple of nights I have left, well, let's see, Thursday night and Friday night and Saturday night. I'm not sure about Thursday, but at least two nights, maybe three nights, I've let the baby chicks door open. And that's another thing that's bothering me about these feral cats because these are small chicks. They'll they'll get these things and, and kill them, and I don't want that to happen. So the cats need to find a new home because there's people up yonder never going to get rid of them, and the county's not going to do anything. So leaves me no choice but to catch them and take them to a new community they can, they can go occupy. <laughs> but I don't know. I did manage to get the hose up so I could cut around the pump house. I need to drain both water tanks and get them moved over out of the way. Probably back here and, and fill them back up. I can't move them when they're full. They weigh too doggone much. But either way, lots of stuff to do. Not enough time and too much heat here lately. So, Guys, I appreciate y'all watching the videos and subscribing to the channel. Thank y'all very much for that. I really do appreciate it. It helps me grow, and that's the only way a small channel is going to grow, is if, you know, like-minded people watch and subscribe and support the channel that way. Um, my channel is, I think, right at three years old. And uh, there are channels that are six months old that aren't as constitutional conservative as I am that have grown 10 times what mine is and uh i can't help it if something's on my mind i'm gonna tell you about it but uh, either way guys i really do appreciate y'all y'all remember what i always tell you jesus christ loves you and so do i y'all be safe be prepared and i'm gonna add one more thing to that this time guys remember to share the love of christ that is what we're all called to do Good, bad, or ugly, if you share the love of Christ, it will make any situation better. Y'all be safe.